Oh, hey, La Bid, it's your boy Big Bid B, and we back for another edition of Big Bid Business. Today, we are back with another video, and as the title says, we are here with a tag video. Yes, I was tagged by my guy Darian over at the Bowtie Fragrance Guy channel. If you haven't checked him out, make sure you do that. And he said, B, you gotta hold me down. And I said, I got you. I got you, Doug. So here I am today, and as the title states, we're here with 12 designer fragrances, one for every month. Now what I will say before I dive into the list, this video actually gave me the opportunity to revisit some fragrances, and I decided to really go through and put my nose on a couple of them just to make sure that these were the fragrances that I wanted to select. Some of them, they actually got swapped out as I was taken back to the original times when I purchased these fragrances and what I felt. So some of them, I was like, you know what, I need to have this one in the collection. So therefore, they had to fill in that spot. This first fragrance is one that I immediately purchased. I gave it a 10 out of 10, and this one is for the month of January. Now what I can tell you is that January here in Tennessee has been a lot different than January back in Florida. I mean, in January here, we had a lot of cold days, at least cold to me. The average temperature here in January is 50 degrees. We're in Florida, <laughs> it's way, way up. It's almost like 75, almost 80-ish, all right? Um, at least where I was in Florida. So this first fragrance is one that fits the bill for that type of weather. I enjoy it, I gave it a 10 out of 10, and this one is from Mason Margiela, and this one is By The Fireplace. Now, if you're familiar with this channel, then you know that this fragrance was gonna be on here at some point, especially as we're talking about designer scents. I feel like this one is a perfect um, fragrance out there. This one is a compliment monster in my personal opinion. I've gotten a lot of compliments with it and I use a lot of this juice. This one is smoky. It's sweet. Um, it has that burning wood and roasted chestnuts type of vibe. Definitely one that's good to huddle around a fireplace, given its name by the fireplace, or if you should be a cuddle buddy, this thing will work out, man. So by the fireplace from Mason Margiela. Now February is the month of love and in February, we have Valentine's Day. We have my mother's birthday, which is Valentine's Day. We have my father's birthday, which is Valentine's Day. And um, that's, that's about everything we have, all right? Uh, this fragrance here is one that fits those, again, cuddle type of situations. Love is in the air and you wanna get spicy. <laughs> the fragrance is from Victor and Roth, and this one is Victor and Roth Spice Bomb Extreme. So in February here in Tennessee, we've seen a lot of things, including um, snowstorms, flash floods, it, it's just been bonkers over here, but um, the weather is a lot colder, it's 55 degrees in Florida, man, it's gonna be hot, 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 and this thing definitely performed. In the official review, I gave this one a nine out of 10, and to me, this one is the best flanker from the Spice Bomb lineup. Obviously, they have um, a fresh, they have the, the um, night vision, and to me, this one is definitely the better take on that. This one is um, sweet, it's had this oriental type of vibe, and it just pops off the skin. I get good performance on this thing, and it's one that I'm happy to have in the collection. I recommend this one on a frequent basis, and this one also made my 10 for life video uh, twice so this is definitely one that i'm going to be reaching for victor and roth spice bomb extreme now for march here in chattanooga tennessee the average temperature is 64 degrees and this fragrance is one that wasn't going to be on the list in fact i had no thoughts of picking this one up but as i was going through my fragrances i said hmm let me just get my nose on this thing again, and it brought me back to the memories of purchasing this thing, and I didn't buy it on the first go around. I smelled this thing, I like I enjoy it, like a lot. <laughs> I came back to it over and over again, and I decided to pick this thing up. Um, maybe I did buy it on the first one, I'm not sure, <laughs> I don't know. But I really do enjoy this thing. This one is this oriental smoky type of feel. This one has a Styrax in it. This one also has some woody, oriental spicy type of vibe. It's balmy. I enjoy it. I think um, maybe maybe it doesn't get a lot of love out there. This one comes from John Vavados, and this one is Dark Rebel. Not Dark Rebel Rider, Dark Rebel. I really, really enjoy this fragrance. I think if I talked about this one years and years ago on the official review, maybe in 2017, 
I wish I could re record this moment what I talked about in terms of speaking about this fragrance, but this is one that I enjoy. It has like the synthetic castorium in there, which is excreted by beavers, you know, when they're trying to get their, the love of their life. <laughs> so I sprayed this one on. You gonna be the love of my life? She said yes. All right, so there you have it. I think she, I think she enjoyed this one as well, man. Dark Rebel, she probably won't remember what this thing smells like right now because it's been a long time since I've worn this thing and I need to get back to it, so. Nice one, if you had this one in your collection, let me hear about it down below. What has been your um, experience with this thing? And a lot of you out there are like, yo, B, Dark Rebel in, in March? Well, the average temperature here again, man, is, is in the 60s, so. You know, that's winter in some places. So spray this thing on as we bring into spring. Ready to go with this thing, man. Dark Rebel from John Barbados. Now in April, we get a bump up to 73 degrees here on average. And this next one is one that I've talked about on a number of occasions. We are heading into spring. And this fragrance is, is really, really nice. Um, I think it hasn't been discontinued or is soon to be discontinued. This one has Tuscan Iris in it, which is a different feel of the Iris that's in the original fragrance. And this one just is masterful to me. This one is Dior Homme O4 Men. This fragrance is for the man that's confident, um, assertive, bold. You spray this thing on and you're going to get noticed. At least that's been my personal experience with this thing. I know some people out there are not a huge fan of this one and it's this is being discontinued, so maybe a lot of people aren't, but I enjoy it, and I think um, a lot of other people out there do as well. I know that kind of contradicts what I just said, but I get people to hit me up all the time, like, yo, B, I really enjoy Dior Ohm, or I wish I had it, where can I buy it, etc. And when they get it, they hit me up, I'm like, yo, B, he was right. Boom, boom, all right? So Dior Ohm, oh, this one has made a few spring lists for good reason, and it's on this list today of the 12th. For one for every month. In April, we get a bump yet again. It's Taurus season, and not Taurus, but Taurus, like the zodiac sign, all right? It's Taurus season, and this one is one that I haven't talked about in a while. I've had this one on a spring list maybe a year or two ago, and again, as I was going through my fragrances, this is one that really just popped back off to me. This one comes from Hermes, and this one is Hermes Autre. Fresh. Now, Ultra Fresh is this different take on the original Teta Hermes. Um, you still have that dirty orange within it. You have geranium in this thing here, and this is made for those warmer months. This thing smells really good. Um, it doesn't have the best longevity out there, but this one is definitely a professional scent. Um, you can wear it on a daily casual wear and smell different than most people out there. So I do enjoy this one. Um, this is one that I would recommend, although I don't wear it a ton, probably because I'm always testing new things, but I've had to go back and try something out for the month of April. It will be Teta MS Ultra Fresh. The next fragrance for May is one that I think a lot of people out there enjoy. This one has yuzu, has pink pepper, has bergamot, it has woody notes, and it's for champions, all right? And this one is Invictus Aqua 2016. Now you can insert 2018, or if I didn't have this one, I would insert 2018, and um, I think this one will work just fine. Um, for here in Chattanooga, for the average temperature, at least from the website that I grabbed this from, it's 87 degrees, and I feel like this one would work in that type of situation. This one is made for those warmer months, and it's crazy because the, the original Invictus is kind of a, a sporty-ish type of scent. Not super sporty, but uh, this one just takes it to the next level and just, just really pops. So they did a great job with this scent. Again, I don't need to talk much about it because you probably already know about it, and if you got it, you got it. If you don't, um, good luck finding it. So, solid scent from Invictus, Invictus Aqua 2016. I said from Invictus, Paco Rabanne, you know what I mean. Next up, we have July, and July brings us to the halfway point of the year. This next scent is one that we've purchased on multiple occasions as gifts, and another one that I came back to over and over and over and over again. And although I don't speak about it much these days, it still holds a special place in my heart. A lot of people out there be like, nah, gee, 
I ain't feeling it. The average temperature here is going to be 90 degrees, and this one is citrus, it's fresh, it's bright, it pops, and this one is also from Dior, and this one is Dior Homme Cologne. Now, as the bottle shows in itself, I feel like this one is going to be a great wear for a white t-shirt and jeans or shorts or however you like to do it, whenever you're feeling clean fresh that type of vibe this one is definitely going to work now what i do enjoy about this scent in terms of the citrus within it it comes off as still a sophisticated type of fragrance and i enjoy that because sometimes when you get these fragrances that um are heavy on citrus the citrus disappears really quick that's not that with this one or they come off to be a bit juvenile and i think that this one still smells sophisticated and could work in certain office situations depending on how things are going you may not worry about that right now if you're quarantining but when these things begin to go back and you begin to you know get into the office a little bit more this is definitely one that you can rock in July. Now, August here is also 90 degrees, and in that 90 degree range is where those citrus notes, to me, really perform. This is what they were made for, and this one is one that you are likely saying right now, knowing that I'm about to pull up. This one is from Chanel, and this one is Chanel Allure Homme Edition Blanche. Now, I gave this one a 10 out of 10 as well, and I believe that this one is this creamy, citrus, bright fragrance that I really enjoy. Um, I also like that this one isn't super available, and when I say it's not super available, you can pick this one up from the Chanel website here in the States, extremely easy. However, I have yet to come across a um, Chanel boutique or stand that has this one in store. So I like the exclusivity about that a bit more as well, and, <laughs> it's just it's just dope all right it's been said that this one is a lemon ring pie i believe steven came up with that i don't know like who knows if you if you came up with it and he said it or i got it from i, I don't know okay i just know somebody said it and i'm gonna say steven said it. <laughs> but solid sent to me i enjoy it that's why i gave it a 10 out of 10 hopefully you do as well like a few people hit me up like yo b got it in my collection now uh -huh. make sure you do if you don't have it because you're missing out so now as we move into September, it's different here. So this one is similar to Florida, all right? So Florida in September is going to be warmer. I won't say hot. It's going to be warmer than most places. And I don't think the temperature is much different here. It's rated as 83 degrees on average temperature here in Chattanooga, Tennessee in September. And I think back in Baltimore, things would have been a little bit cooler, if you know what I'm saying. Um, this fragrance has Ambroxan and one that I've talked about Plenty of time, so I won't spend a ton of time talking about it today. And this one is Coach for Men. Now, I'm interested to see what they do with the new uh, setup for this one, which should be Coach for Men Blue or Coach Blue for Men. I know that Coach Platinum um, was stated to be discontinued. I haven't actually seen it yet. Um, I guess I did. I went to the Coach store and they told me it was discontinued. But you can obviously still pick that up in places like Macy's, Fours etc you can find it out there and also on the gray market sites for a discounted price but i personally believe that this one is going to be the better of the two but we'll see where coach blue lands us but all in all i think this one is a solid scent this one for me works well pops off the skin for its price point of what you could buy it for today it's even a better buy than when i purchased this thing retail so get this thing in your collection if you don't have it talked about it again to the point of exhaustion so you should know everything you need to know about it man coach for men now this next fragrance isn't super readily available as the company went away and then it came back but um i enjoy this one this fragrance here is a unisex scent and to me it leans more on the masculine side this one is going to be good for the spring and the fall and as we transition to that space with this one um this one is commodities book now commodity book has this cucumber type of vibe you also have artemisia in here you have amber um and to me this thing just smells great i actually got this one i don't know if this was for father's day or some. it was a gift the missus picked this one up for me she knew that i liked it i smelled it within a sephora one day when we were out and about doing our shopping routines and 
I liked it. Uh, I didn't pick it up, but she actually picked it up for me and I was really excited that she did that. Now, I will be able to wear this one a bit more as you know that um, I don't like to wear fragrances that I know people around me use as a signature scent. And one of the guys who worked with me down in Florida used this one as a signature scent after I picked it up. Okay, he got it after me, so he kind of like bullied me out, out of using it, but it's okay, okay? I can use it now, because he's not watching. <laughs> Just joking, man. Just all jokes aside there. But I really do enjoy this thing here. Um, if you have it in your collection, good. If you had it related to anything, this one gets compared to Lalabo's um, Centaur 33 a lot. Um, and this is like a more watered down version of it. I was able to smell that in Atlanta not too long ago, maybe in February. And I think that they are similar, a very similar approach. So if you like that scent, you don't have quite the coin for it. That you can pick this thing up, huh? Maybe you can. Uh, it might be cheaper to get a labo at this point. So we'll see, man. A book from Commodity. Good to have in a collection. Now we are down to the final two months within the year, and now we are in November. All right, November for me, at least here, is going to be a cooler month with temperatures in the 60s, the low 60s, uh, heading to that 50 degree mark, and. This next scent is one that I was kind of torn on which way to go with it. I'm like, ah, I can go here or here, but just because I gave this one a higher rating in the official review, I'm going to go this way. And this is a flanker of the original, which is Stronger With You Intensely. Obviously that one was a flanker of Stronger With You. I really enjoy Stronger With You. I gave that one an eight out of 10. This one received a nine out of 10 for me and I enjoy it. To me, you spray this thing on, and again, instant cuddle, buddy, action. Yes, you spray this thing on Netflix and chill it up, you are good to go. This one definitely performs, at least it performs for me on my skin. Um, this one, again, works well in those cooler temperatures. So you can spray this on and know that um, it's going to work. This one also has like this chestnut type of vibe. Um, very, very, very small resemblance to um, By the Fireplace in the dry down. Um, as you, again, as that gets drier down on the skin, that's weird. As it dries down on the skin, it gets a little bit closer to um, By the Fireplace. So to me, it's reminiscent to that vibe slightly. Again, you're gonna be around low 60s, around 62 degrees here in Chattanooga. You know, it gets colder than that though. Trust me, I've been here. You know, it gets colder than that. Sometimes it gets down like 30 degrees. And that's the high, right? The 60s is the high, the average high. So let me make sure I put that out there too. And that's for all of these fragrances that I mentioned, the temperature is the average high. Obviously it's gonna you can get much lower. <laughs> all right, so um, there you have it. Stronger with you intensely. And finally, that leads us in December where the temperatures get into the low 50s on the average high. So that means it's going to be pretty cold here for a guy like myself. This fragrance is one that is absolutely amazing. Um, it smells like something that is absolutely fantastic. It's absolutely with cinnamon. It absolutely has sandalwood. And this one is from Valentino. And this one is Valentino Noir. Absolute. That was like a really weird way <laughs> to transition into this fragrance, but I did it, all right? Um, this one has this oriental feel for it. And if you like oriental fragrances, you're gonna get that spice, you get that sweetness. And it also feels like it has hints of honey in here. And it doesn't, but it's like this creamy smooth scent that I think um, you will really enjoy. Now pairing this one up to the more popular fragrance within the collection would, which would be Valentino Womo Intense. Um, you could go either way with this, but um, I feel like if you're going to, you know, stand out just a bit more, not everyone's gonna have it in this collection because this one isn't one available everywhere. Um, I think Timmy said that this one was discontinued or should be being discontinued and um, yeah, it's different, man. I, I enjoy it. So you want to stand out a little bit more, you can pop this thing on and you will be A-okay. So Valentino, Womo Noir, absolute. So there you have it, man. Those are 12 fragrances, one for every month on a designer level. Shout out to my guy, Darian, again, over at Bowtie Fragrance Guy for putting me in on this tag, all right? <laughs> Listen, man. I don't have much to do these days, but tag the video. <laughs> so make sure you hit me up if you want to. Like, I don't know. Tag me, guys, please. 
So it comes down to that time of the video where I have to tag a few people, and I'm gonna do that. So first off, I wanna tag Leroy over at Mr. Put Together. All right, man, shout out to you. Give me one fragrance for every month. I wanna tag my guy Dan over at Scented Waters. All right, where the water is scented. <laughs> Shout out Dan, man. We got to do a video together one day, man. Yeah, yeah, we got to make that happen. And then also I want to give my guy Josh over at Scent Scent. Um, go ahead and hop on this, sir, if you have the time. So there you have it, man. My 12 fragrances for um, one for every month. <laughs> my 12 fragrances for 12 months. There you have it. As always, I'm your boy, Big B B. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend that we are back again. And you know what I need you to do. Yes, I need you to hit the bell, but I also need your friends to hit the bell as well, all right? Tell them!